<clears throat> All right, so we've got a, an exponential equation here. 27 is equal to 3 to some power, or 3 to the 4x minus 9 here. And I'm trying to figure out what x is. All right, so I've got a, an equation where my variable is in the exponent slot. Now, this particular type and these types that we're going to work on, I call like bases because what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite both sides of the equation so that they have the same base, all right, the number that is being raised to an exponent. So I can take the number 27 and rewrite it as 3 to the third power. And now that I've done that, the idea is that if these two things are equal to each other, then these exponents must be equal to each other. So I'm going to say 3 is equal to 4x minus 9, and then I can solve that equation. Uh, add 9 to both sides, you get 12 is equal to 4x. And then divide by 4, you're going to get 3 is equal to x. And that's my solution. All right, do a, another one here. Uh, let's say I've got 2 to the x plus 4 is equal to 8 to the x minus 6. All right, so the goal is to take, uh, to find some number uh, that relates uh, the two bases. All right, I want to express both sides as some number, I want to express it as the same number mm, to some power. How do I say that? I want to, I want to express yeah, I want to find a common base for the two numbers. <laughs> All right, I can rewrite the number 8 as 2 to some power. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transform the right-hand side as 2 to the third power. All right, and I've got all of that stuff to the x minus 6. And the left-hand side I'll just leave alone. 2 to the x plus 4. All right, uh, now I'm going to use an old trick. Uh, we got to use some of our exponent rules is what you'll have to be fluent with here. Because I've got a power to another power, all right, I can multiply those exponents. Like if I had x to the 6th raised to the 3rd power, that would be the same as x to the 18th. Because you're doing x to the 6th times x to the 6th three times. So that ends up just being multiplication. All right, so on the right-hand side, I'll expand that. 2 to the x plus 4. And that'll be 2 to the 3x minus 18. All right, and again, because these bases are the same, I can equate these two exponents. I'll say x plus 4 has to equal 3x minus 18. And then we can just solve this equation, move everything over to one side. Move our x's over to one side, and then move our regular numbers to the other. Add 18 to both sides. All right, cancels, cancels. You get 22 on the left-hand side, and 2x on the right-hand side. So 11 is equal to x. Okay. Uh, I think that's good for this one. We'll do some more examples here in a sec.